What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, there it is. Oh mm. man, good sign, mm. freak. All right, it looks like you made it back for a second episode. Thank you so much for joining us once again. If you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. And of course, welcome back, guys. We're enjoying the story. So am I. It is unbelievable so far uh, from the graphics to the story itself and the characters. is very, very, very interesting. We're about to jump into part two. Also, a huge shout out to everyone at Supermassive Games. Once again, you guys are the best audience ever. And this is The Quarry. Love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack its quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. All right, looks like we finally get to make a decision, and so far it looks amazing with great characters that we just can't wait to get to know guys all right so our first choice what should we say they'll get over it you never know i feel like we should start it off with being a little cynical here we go yeah well i mean they're just kids you know they'll get over it uh-huh like they'll get over emma what no, that's not the same thing oh so that's not why you're in a bad mood i'm not in a bad oh my. <laughs> you know what we had our last night together and we're cool Oh yeah, so cool that you're never gonna see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey! <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Alright, so it looks like we finally get to move around and got to say, guys, it looks absolutely beautiful. The cabin during the day looks much better and much different than the first part, if you guys remember. Um, I don't think we could go up there just yet. Can we? Oh, maybe we can. But, looks like this one here. Let's go say hello. Looks like he's uh, listening to some music. According to reports from the local paper, some hay bales caught fire during the opening. Hey, what are you uh, what are you listening to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. Looks like we can't really interrupt him when he's listening to the Joe Rogan podcast, guys. Train by day, Joe Rogan by night. Or by day. <laughs> Let's go. See if we can get up there. Uh, and I think that character that we just met was played by Justice Smith. If you don't know who that is, it's from the Pokemon live action movie. If you haven't seen it, don't really blame you. Here we go. <laughs> Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. With this thing, it's just. Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. 
cool. Thanks, guys. All right, looks like we just got the door shut in her face, but did they lock it, though? Dipshit's bolted it? Really? Gotta be kidding me. All right, it looks like they did bolt it. There's gotta be a way around, right? Let's take a look at this. 1953, what? It's gotta be. <laughs> I wonder what time it is or what year it is in game. Because that is wild. They built this in 1953. Still looks good, though. Hey. Uh, none of these windows are open either. Oh, wait. I might be wrong. Come on. Bingo. Let's go. A way in. Oh, skill. That's what you call a super ninja technique, guys. I would not recommend you try that at home. All right, here we go. Um, ooh, looks like we got something else. Ugh, horror. I hate horror. That's what everyone says when you're in a horror movie. <laughs> All right. Um, but we love horror over here, guys. I don't know if you do or not. But I do enjoy a good horror game from time to time. So here we go. And I know the uh, the makers or the creators of the game from Supermassive are also huge horror fans. And they took inspiration from many, many different movies to make this one. So can't wait to see what inspirations or what movies rather they took inspiration from to make it. Are these? Oh, looks like we got the bags already. Okay. the bags great all by yourself huh yep guess you're gonna have to get used to that oh my god you are so mean <laughs> at least i'm honest oh okay here we go okay you're not telling me the whole truth about you and emma are you son ouch all right fires right back at us uh mind your business or should we say what about you but honestly though guys what about you Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? We could be smug about it. I knew it. Or sexy. Hmm. It's always good to be a little mischievous, so sexy? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please... Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> Okay, so should we say maybe I like it? Or it was just a fling. I mean, we don't want to really tell her everything, so we'll just shoot it off as it's just a fling. Oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. 
surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. Hey, one more day could definitely make a difference, guys. So we're going to find out if she truly has made up her mind. I don't want to break the fuel line. I just thought about it. If I break the fuel line, then I feel like there's a higher chance for a fire with these idiots around. Uh, if I steal the rotor arm, I feel like we could just put it back in, maybe? I don't know, but... Um, the safer option would be the rotor arm, guys. I don't know if you agree, but we're gonna steal the rotor arm. Hey, come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Uh, no, dude, please, d don't, don't. Long. Oh, Nick. Boom. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Ben! Oh, okay, okay. At least I got some. Or back off, dipshit. You know what I mean? I feel like at least I got some. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burned. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top.
Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. As we could definitely break in there or try to go find someone with a key. But considering it's the last day of camp, like, are we really going to waste our time looking for someone with a key? We're probably not coming back here anyway, so let's go. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. All right, looks like we finally get to move around once again, but this time as Abigail. Very interesting to meet more characters. And I will explain each character who they're played by and what movies you could find them in so that will be coming on later guys don't worry for now let's just take some look around see what we could find can't believe i'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs okay now this looks like something interesting this place be in the news Newspaper headline, uh, a scrap of local newspaper, the North Kill Gazette? It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire? Was it at Hackett's Quarry? I mean, I would assume, right? Uh, but I have no idea. There's nothing much to go on other than that, so let's keep it going. I don't think we could take it with us, so she's just gonna leave it there. What else do we have? This was little Izzy's. I want to play a game! <laughs> First of all, that was extremely creepy. I don't know about you guys. Uh, we should probably leave it there because it's super creepy, but... I don't know, maybe we have some use for it later on. So just to be safe, we're going to take it with us. Let's get you back to Izzy. Alright, looks like we got Izzy's doll. Very creepy doll. And let's get out of here. Oh, one random shack compared to the rest. We gotta take a look at that, come on. Looks like a radio station of sorts, right? Maybe? What do we got? It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. <gasps> so it looks like that's the PA system where they make all the camp announcements. Hey! You stop <gasps> that! Hopefully it didn't break something. Not much to explore there. Don't think we could really go in there. Alright, we're gonna try to find Emma and get out of here. I should probably explain who each character is played by. 
but I feel like we're going to take more in-depth look at these characters as the chapters go along. It is the first chapter, guys, so don't you worry, I will explain it. If you have a favorite character, you will get an in-depth explanation of everything about him. <laughs> With that being said, looks like we got something. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. An empty vial? Wonder what's in it. Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Looks like the good stuff. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Looks like Jacob plus Emma. Forever for summer. Ooh, someone scratched out forever and <laughs> put for summer. I like that. Jacob and Emma for summer. Uh, all right. Looks like we got something else right here as well. Information side post. Let's take a closer look at that. So upon further reading on the right. I have finally come to the conclusion that it is, in fact, an information signpost. <laughs> All right. It was like one whole paragraph just to explain to you guys that it is an information signpost. So we're not going to read through that. But if you are a reader freak, I know some of you guys love to read out there. Make sure you paused and read that. Here we go. It looks like we found Emma. Let's get out of here. Ready to roll? Uh, not just yet. I don't think the other cabins are explorable, so I guess that's the only thing we have, so let's do it! Let's do it! Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick. Could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? So we can head straight back to the lodge, or take the scenic route and take our time. And aw, Abby seems so sweet so far, guys. Honestly, for now, we don't want any of these characters to die, but I feel like there should be no threats at the beginning, right? So we're gonna take the scenic route, take our time. Yes. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Alright, we could totally be sarcastic. How could they live without you? Or I believe you. I feel like we need to keep a somewhat, not all the time, we're not going to agree all the time, of course, but somewhat positive relationship between all these characters so they'll make it to the end and if someone needs help they'll help each other out so I'm gonna be supportive to start it off guys hope hope it works out you know what 
I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The Holy Trinity. You heard Emma, guys. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and of course, drop a like on this video if you love it. Here we go. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Hmm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All. Everyone. Same thing. 